Hi, Tammy. How you doing? So I've got you up here and taking a look at your trade show booth. Um, this looks good. This look this looks really good. Good job on a trade show booth. Then let's come down and you have your your trade show booth information. Um, can, can this is this is excellent. This is exactly what I'm looking for here. Um, then I'm going to talk about your presentation in a second, but let's right right now just take a look at the con uh, content. So and you're talking about your materials for your ink and your paper. Awesome job. And that's what I'm looking for right there. And there's your resource. So you're really drilling this. Good job. Next page. Front collateral piece. Um, and you already described your materials for that. So excellent job there. Um, recycle cans and bamboo. So what you want to do here is, is give us, I'm going to show you a materials list, a sustainable materials list. Looks something like this. And don't worry, I'm going to just copy this and paste it within your um, uh, post so you can take a look at it and see how it would. Basically, you would name the material, what it is, then describe it, you know, it, it, giving facts. And then here's your um, citation. So that's where the facts came from. Okay, so, so, so everything is legit here. So you're not saying, you know, anything without backing it up with uh, research and a citation. Okay. So um, now let's go back and then your page, your, your end here after um, the 3D giveaway product. So that's cool. But don't forget, you have to put this together and photograph it as well as this. You have to print this out and photograph it as well for this assignment. So keep that in mind. Um, and you can just take a look at the uh, summary assignment, um, the assignment summary right here. And you can see where it says, um, sorry. You can see where it says right here, um, ba, 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 photograph the 3D in an appropriate setting with a clean background. Um, print out your collateral piece and photograph it with a pistol. So take a look at that, see what you're missing there. And then I want to talk about your design. Um, so you have your page set up like this. Let's go to the first page where you have your trade show booth headline set up there. And then your your Headline changes. See how it changes? It kind of jumps and the type changes. Let's look at that again. There's your original headline. There's page two headline. See how it changes? Page three goes back to the original. Okay. Page four changes again. Page five is the same as page four. And then page seven just doesn't even have one. Okay. So let's get that locked down. And then also I want to take a look at, okay, see this page you have bold type with a um, left alignment. Then over here on this page, you have uh, a, 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 a serif typeface center aligned. Um, so it's it's totally different. So you need to get some consistency in there in terms of presentation. As far as your collateral plate piece goes, you basically have this designed as, as one long paragraph. See what I mean? There's usually breaks um, in in this much text there would be breaks and you always want to show those breaks because psychologically the the viewer isn't going to want to read something with this much text with no breaks because it looks like it's tiring that's why we always do things like um you know add a paragraph between or add a space between paragraphs or indent just to give the eye just a little bit of rest when you're going through all that type Okay, so finally, last but not least, is your citations and credits page. So the last page you would have, uh, you know, basically a summary of the presentation and then list all of your um, credits, including your image credits like that, where'd you get it, that, that coupon, that image, that, that, all of that stuff needs to be credited, that image, that image, um, and all of your, um, you know, the, your, your research citations for this should be credited at the end of the page as well as in your body copy like you have it that would be great if, if so, so that's where you need to get um and don't forget the photographing and putting those things together is part of this week's assignment so um you, you're going to want to get that in now this is different than the um the final presentation though so so keep that in mind so you'll have to photograph for both this one and the final presentation okay so i just i just want you to get all the points that you can because we're just so close and you're doing so well there's just a couple of things missing okay awesome very cool thanks jamie hey if you have any questions you know i'm right here so you can get with me okay thanks